Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is a little bit different and one that was requested by you a lot. I recently cut fringe, I cut bangs, and so many of you have been highly encouraging, but mostly I've been asked over and over and over again, how do I style them? And is there some particular technique? So these bangs were sort of an accident. Well, about a year ago, I had curtain bangs cut. And let me tell you, it was a complete disaster. Now, I don't know if there's some particular skill involved, but I could not style them to save my life. There were tears, there were things thrown, and I have spent the past probably 10 months trying to grow them out, therefore have been very gun shy and resistant to any kind of change when it comes to cutting and actually adding bangs back in. But I was using a hair system by Callisum at the beginning of the year, which is all about hair growth, and it grew so much hair that I inadvertently actually started creating bangs. Now, it started, I don't know, probably around March or April that I realized that I was sprouting all of these baby hairs everywhere. And there came a point at which when the baby hairs started to really grow, they started to create what looked like fringe. So I went into work one day and Alva, a gal I was working with at the time, said, Mary, did you cut fringe? And I thought, no. And then I started seeing more and more photos and even videos here on YouTube about how they were kind of poking down and it started to get me thinking, maybe I should give it a try. So the first time I went in, I got sort of wispy bangs, so they weren't full on, but it started to make me comfortable with the idea. And I love them immediately, like absolutely immediately. So for the next probably two to three months, every time I went in to get a haircut or a hair color, I would add some more fringe. So that is where I am today. It is full on bangs. And I have to say, I absolutely love them and I wish that I'd done them a long, long time ago. And I think one of the things I like the most about them is how flexible they are. You know, whether my hair is up or down or curled or sideswept or braided, my face looks framed and it just, it makes me look a little bit more polished even if I'm not feeling it. But what I have found is the most effective for me is regardless of what I do with my hair every single day, I always style my fringe. I condition them and I blow dry them every single day. Now, one of the biggest changes for me in 2023 is not washing my hair daily. I have done it for, let's see if I'm 52, I've done it certainly since I was probably 12 showered and washed my hair every single day. But because I have learned that water is the enemy of hair, particularly if you have breakage, if you have damaged hair, if you have menopausal hair, if you're getting more shedding, washing it every day is a disaster. And while every hairstylist I have been to in the past 40 years have said, stop it, it took me this long to actually do that. But dealing with second day, third day, and even fourth day hair, I have found very tricky. But as long as my fringe are freshly done, I find that I can carry it off, I can live with it a heck of a lot longer, and it's a lot more flexible. So today's video is all about how I style these fringe. So this is what I did today, this morning, in order to achieve these bangs. This is not freshly washed hair. This is day two hair. I did my full wash routine yesterday, and this is what I did when I woke up this morning and got ready to go. Now, I always shower every day. I get into the shower, but I generally protect my hair so that it doesn't get wet. And the way that I do that is with my shower cap. And I have learned that not all shower caps are created equal. I got this one off of Amazon. I'll put the details in it down below, but it has a terry cloth lining. So what this means is there's no dampness. There's no moisture getting into my hair at all when I'm in the shower. Because every day I have to clean my body. I clean my face. I do all of that in the shower but I always put my hair up first into my shower cap to protect it. So I just throw it up into a bun, stick it on top of my head, and I throw this on. So once the shower is done, then I tackle the fringe. And the first thing I have to do is actually find the fringe. And this is a lot trickier than you might think because my fringe kind of goes at an angle, right? So it comes down like this. So trying to separate all of the bits to make sure I get the sides and everything else and nothing else can take a little bit of time. And there's always those few longer strands that get in, but big whoop. So I always start off by rinsing with warm water. I just do it underneath the tap. I know it's not very glamorous, guys, but this is what I do every single day, and y'all asked. Next is I apply a conditioner. This is my favorite daily conditioner by Hyel. It's called the Volume Conditioner. It smells divine. I love all of the products by Hyel, but this is definitely the one that I use every single day. And I just put that through the hair, and then I rinse it out with warm water. And I have learned this year that one of the most important things when you rinse out the conditioner is to actually 
actually use a leave-in conditioner. So I spray the one by Purology. This is called Color Fanatic. I use this anytime I wet my hair. So that just kind of helps to seal everything in and protect the hair. So generally at this stage, I'd go into my little room and this is where I put my hair into a little Velcro thing. And that's just really to keep it off my face, whether I'm doing makeup or skincare. This is sort of the regular routine, morning and night. Get the fringe out of the way. It's kind of a pain, I have to say. That's the only downside to the fringe. But I do my full skincare routine. And then generally it's about 10 minutes before I actually go in with a blow dryer. I go downstairs, I let the pooch out, I make myself a cup of coffee because it's stupid early and it's still dark outside. And then I sit down and it only takes about a minute and a half to maybe two minutes to blow dry my fringe. So the Zuvi has become my new best friend. Um, it's very protective and kind to the hair. It uses light and air as opposed to heat and air. So it's just far better on the locks. So I start off, I always put this on because this gives a more targeted airflow. And then I start by just blasting my hair. And I use this brush that I picked up from Aveda. That's the hair salon that I go to. And I basically just blast it. So I blow dry it both from left to right and right to left. And mostly that's just because my hairdresser told me to do that. <laughs> it's just a way, I think, of getting some bit more movement into the fringe so it doesn't settle too much in one place. And once that's nearly dry, then I go in with my round brush. And I'm just trying to basically give it a shape. You guys, this is so easy. It's kind of silly to even feel like I have to show it, but this is what I do. But I do find it's very quick and it's very simple. Now, my hair is getting a little bit longer my fringe. I'm not actually getting a cut for a couple of weeks. So I will do a bit more of a lift. So I'm kind of going up with the hairbrush and out because I need a little bit more of a lift here. Otherwise it can go straight down and ends up getting right into my eyes. And that is pretty much it. This whole process probably takes two and a half minutes. Is that right? Two minutes? Two and a half? Three? <laughs> Gary's like, I don't know. He's going to find out when he actually does the editing. Um, but it's super quick and super easy. And this... You guys, the fringe is the best thing I ever did, I have to say, because tomorrow I might, you know, if we're looking at day three hair, sometimes I just put it up or I might curl it, but my hair is still going to look pretty darn good. This is day two hair. Now, I did use a hair straightener today because I did not use one on wash day. And using my Timo hair straightener, gosh, this looks like a million bucks but it's all about the fringe and all about the framing. So that is it for today's video, guys. It was a quick one, but so many people have asked, and I know a few of you also asked how I cut the fringe. And I'm getting my hair cut in a couple of weeks, so I may actually take a video if you're interested in seeing it. Maybe I'll just do a short that shows the technique for how she actually cuts them. I don't know. I just sit there but I cannot tell you how happy I am with the results. So if you like the look of this video, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, anything else I can help with, let me know. Just give me your questions down below and I'll help in any way I can. So guys, thank you so much for joining today and I look forward to seeing you at the next one. Bye. Oh, I might need to do the whole thing again.